I'm going to start by putting my stopping points in as usual. This area underneath the beak. And there's another little white area just here. And just a little bit here. Now you can see why I do this because it, it gives me uh, oh, that actually, sorry, break off and move it. That comes way back there. Yes, it gives me uh, an idea of where I need to stop when I get to the darker areas. And let's start off by putting some light in now. 230 on the top. I'm not worried about my graphite lines there because that's going to be covered up. I'm always a bit tentative when we first start off a picture. And uh, you've got to find your way. Now everywhere else here, just a little bit in there, actually comes down a little further now I've got it. Like that. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm going to use a 233 now. And the other thing is I'm going to come up to that line. That's the line. It's very difficult to see, in fact, on the reference picture where the division is. But I know it's from there because I can see it here, but I can't see it further on. So... That's 233, that's our base colour. Now there's just along the, the tip of this, just here, there's just a little bit of light. I'm going to put white in first of all, and then grey. I'll come back to that later. I'm just looking at that, and that's more of a point there, so use my eraser gently to remove... That's better. Okay, now what I do about that? Well, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to use my. I've got a black. No, I'll use my 181, I think, just there, because I want to put a division in. And then we can use the 233. On top of that, and that can be faded into the light two thirty. I've got. you do anything like this you want to keep one eye on the reference picture all the time it's very easy to get carried away with your coloring and then find yourself in a spot of bother i think oh dear i don't mean to do that you think now this stops about there so i've got that right now i'm going to cut just just a little bit into that white because it's not pure white it's like that Alright, well that's stage one. Now I'll just uh, sharpen my pencil up because I need to have a much sharper point here than I've got. And then we'll put the next colour in. Now this is black. I'd go over the area I put the 181 in. And... Now we can put the 181 once again, start at the bottom. The light's falling on the top. There we. Where this will be black, that probably won't have any black on it at all up there, up the top. And 
once again that fades into the colors that we've got coming up here now what about this um, it's not dark enough that's true but I think it will be up top so let's do the top first much lighter application it's got a bluey hue to this top of the beak but I've got a colour which I can use 157 but I'm, I'm going to try to resist that because 181 is a Payne's grey which is a bluey grey a little bit more than that I think I'm, I'm going to have to have a colour shaper on this in a minute to blend it but when it gets to there it looks like that on the picture so if I can retain that that will be um, great okay now let's move into the black this is where we've got to put the black on because it's very dark under the beak and also this is where we have that division now the other thing is as it gets to there it lightens off when it hits that lighter area I put in but above it now this is interesting it's darker there now that's pretty close to the original so you can obviously appreciate where the division is without actually putting it in um, okay now I think I'm gonna to have to put that blue in well I'll show you the blue it's uh, 157 uh, here we are. Now, one five seven is a blue. It's a like a midnight blue, I call it, but it's actually cobalt blue is the description. But I always imagine that as being a lighter blue than that. Anyway, you can put it on, and that works very well. Uh, I'm glad I did it. Now it's got a little blue hue to that. Now, what about colour shape as well? My general rule is if I'm using darker colours, I use the grey colour shaper, and the pointed one probably would be best for this. When I'm using lighter colours, I use the ivory. That seems to work very well. Now here we can come into that, that area of light I put in there using the colour shaper. Now that's come up really well and I don't think I'm going to touch it again maybe maybe just a little bit of depth back on there and that was into there as well because it sinks into under the feathers at that point right I think that will do. I may well come back in and touch it up later, but I think that that's gone really well.